at the station. Let's go to London. The Muffin Man. Just on my way now to meet my friend at LinkedIn offices. I'm not sure if I'm filming there. We'll try because it should be quite interesting. I think everyone got off that tube train. Everyone's going to work. People everywhere. We're just on the roof of the LinkedIn offices. This is the balcony where you can go for a picnic. I can't film inside. I've had to sign something to say I won't film inside. So this is the balcony outside. And this is the coffee from the, um, the coffee shop that's free on every floor. There's the uh, shard. Some of the other stuff. Well, there's all the night. BT Tower. Oh, the cranes building something. Look at that quality jumper, Ellie. It's got the now actually back in stock. <laughs> Where do I work now, Ollie? Where do I work now? <laughs> It's on YouTube now. The gherkin as well. Matt, is that St Paul's? I'm gonna film that skip in case he drops it. I thought he's put it on the roof, he's going past it. I think it's plastic. I don't know whether it's wheat yeah, I think it is. or barley. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? But it's plastic. It's a shame I couldn't really film on the LinkedIn offices. They're absolutely amazing. You can see the restaurant and the cafes and things like that. And they've got a gym in it. It's got like leisure areas, Connect Four, and all this kind of stuff. Just so that when you get bored working, you just go and play, and then you come back to your desk. You've got the desk up and down. There's a thousand people work there in the chair, the, the chairs. Turn right onto King's Cross Road, A201, then turn right onto Britannia Street. Here we go. Number six, whichever it is. One of these buildings. Oh, that was it, but that's two. Remember we spent ages painting them girders. But well, we were obviously out of fashion because Google don't bother painting the girders. Actually, that's not Google. That's Google. Oh, you can see it now. It's, uh, it's the first size. Hi. So did you say that's going to be the new offices? Yes, this will be the new office. Like, so this all big thing, it's like very long, it's down a bit. I think it is longer than the shard is, the height of the shard. Oh, right. And so the, shard, the, the shard is there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that, that's King's Cross. That's St Pancreas. Yes. Which station did you arrive to? Uh, Euston, which is just okay, there, isn't it, where that black yeah. building is? And then there, there's the it's that MI5, then the Millennium Wheel. They're all similar height, aren't they? The buildings. Yeah. That roof on King's Cross is incredible. <laughs> when you think the Victorians built that one, that's pretty special as well. And that one's got solar panels and moss on it. So go on, say that again. On average. So look, on average. Yeah. So no, no, let's not look at numbers. If you asked me, what is the strength of your channel? Okay. Yeah. Why, why Oli is so successful and great <laughs> and like amazing and talented is because Oli makes a content that people stick with for long. On average, a person watches you for 6.50, so almost seven minutes. Which is good. Which is 59% of your video. It's a lot. I, I mean. I, it's just from my experience, it's a lot. I'm trying to, I asked yeah. them how long the video should be. So I think sometimes they get too long. So we were, we're trying they're to work not. out. They're not, like 60%, I'll tell you something, 60% on a long video. We're not speaking about short now, but like long, it's like super good. I would not go 
lower. So there is no recommendation of like, oh, you're boring. No, you're, you're like super interesting. <laughs> so yeah, coffee bar at Google. <laughs> so that was Google. I've got 17 minutes to do a 17 minute walk to Houston to get the train back at 11 minutes past. So I'm gonna jog. Made it, out of breath though. Probably hurt my ankles as well, running on the pavement in normal shoes. <laughs> Two minutes to spare. So this is what went wrong yesterday with Joe with the drill. Cover crop problems. Cover crops removed the linchpin and the drills fell off. Joe's out of breath now, winding the jack. Oh, and it's, it's snapped this spool here as well. Um, snapped that off, which is a bit of a pain. Yeah, because it's got air brakes, as soon as the pipe come off, it slammed the brakes on on the drill as well. So luckily Joe stopped pretty quick, but it's just, just stretched the pipe a little bit where it's pulled it through the cable ties along the chassis. But don't think it's broken anything other than they're fitting on the back of the tractor. I need to change your pants because that pipe just exploded while I was there winding that handle. Anyway, we'll dump the air out. We don't need the brakes in the field. Put a bolt in there now so that it can't get flicked out by the buster. So then, not too bad, just a broken brake pipe and a broken uh, snap connector on the tractor. Could have been worse though, it could have ripped all the cables and everything. The Ryan there coming in next to us. <laughs> we lost the dog in the cover crop. <laughs> all the problems you get with cover crops, knocking linchpins out, losing the dog. Turns out the dog was hiding behind the pickup after the brake pipe went with a bank. It's an easy jet coming in now. This is where I obviously landed last night, you see. It's dark because everything got delayed. Anyway, the fan's back running, it's just backed up a bit now. You could actually see a divot with the holes and the with the drill had locked on because the brake pipe had come off. Off he goes again. Doing a nice job. So this was oil seed rape or OSR. Phil grew this in it and then now stitching wheat into it. Stop shaking dog. Hello. So I've just come, I don't know how many miles it is from London back to Buncorn. And it started raining about three miles from Buncorn. So I presume it's raining back at the yard now, but they have been sewing most of the day. Uh, Andrew and Joe, well, Andrew got up early to help Joe because the drill's still on Joe's tractor, despite you falling off, obviously, like you've just seen. And uh, they've managed to get quite a bit done. So I'm gonna go and see how much more when they get back to the yard now. Andrew's just got back, he's been carting up on this. We had a bit of an issue with one of the brakes was sticking on. I don't know why, so we're gonna have to have a look what's going on with this trailer. Still. See that smoke or not? Coming out. It's that one there, is it? That foot. Yeah. What? Yeah, he's had it. He's had it on this tractor, and it doesn't have air. This tractor. So he's been using the hydraulic brakes. So he's just dropping it off now. But obviously, some sort of issue with the hydraulic brakes, maybe because we don't use them enough. They're just putting the on to Nick's class because it's got air brakes on it. Because everything that we've got with air brakes is coupled up to something. Anyway, we're going to see how Ian's getting on because a lot of stock come in today. A lot of calendars there ready to go out. And then we've got the red and cherry hats back in stock. I think this box has got more red and cherry hats, navy blue ones. And we've got the teal ones back in stock as well. So we've got. Not that many of each, so you'll have to be quick. The link for the website is below every video. Also, these are still in stock, and the yellow ones have just arrived, but they're not showing on the website yet. Hopefully, by tomorrow, Ian will have a chance to do that. But we've got a Woodshaw audit at the end of the week, so he's been getting the paperwork sorted for that. Don't forget, though, be quick with your calendars, because we're only going to get one batch made. Andrew's just seen if the brakes have come off now. We've got the air blood in. I think they have.
Look at that for a wrap on the van. Bait the rear, they're putting uh, some switches on my joystick so I can turn the cruise control on, off and on when I'm using the joystick. I've got some new switches here now so you can turn the cruise control on and go up and down the cruise control without taking your hand off because you just have to reach down there. We've worked out why the brakes were sticking. So, because Andrew was using the hydraulic brakes, he wasn't using the air. Eventually, the air must have leaked and started binding. So, we unplugged the hydraulic and the air and drained the air tank. But the hydraulic pipe must have had a bit of oil in it and it wouldn't let the cylinder completely return. So, now we've figured that out, it's fine now. So, while I've been gone today, Joe and Andrew, like I say, went out drilling air this morning, managed to do about 70 odd acres before 12 o'clock which is pretty good and then as Joe was leaving the field and folding up it started spitting with rain and as he backed the, the drill back into his shed it, the heavens opened anyway so that's quite a lot of the spud ground now drilled I think we've just got nine acres left to do and then there's some spud ground that Bill and Joe have still got some spuds on but that'll be like a month or so off we're quite pleased with that now it, come, it was actually dust coming off the drill this morning there's a little bit of footage from last night when Joe was drilling for his cover crops just to see how you can show you how high they are selling this and what do you want 11 and a half and there's no vat on it no vat. there we go right this is today's birthday bumper it's not their birthday but they keep putting donations on for when they sell the honey so they're on there david watts and harry i'm not even going to read them out actually because some of the names I can't pronounce and also i think it was martin actually put a donation on because he wanted to round it up to a square number it's not a square number anymore so happy birthday everyone on there and anyone else whose birthday it is today Anyway, that's about it for today and a little bit of the drill catastrophe from yesterday. Really interesting at Google, looking at all the analytics and how the channel works and how we can make it grow. But what one thing they did say is that I've got a lot of really loyal fans or subscribers or whatever you want to call it. So thank you to everyone for that. They also suggested that my titles, because I have the day first, if, you, if you're sort of new and fall on the channel, you might think, well, this is day 900 and whatever. I won't even understand what's going on so maybe i won't watch so it's something that maybe i could do change the title slightly so that the, the day number is at the end of the title or maybe um just display the number rather than the day what do people think about doing that but that because there's, there's basically three or four thousand people if not more falling on the channel every day that have never ever watched before so it would be good to get them to turn into subscribers that watch every day because it's the same effort for a video for me if one person watches or a million people watch so it'd be really good if uh, if we can get it to grow anyway what are people's thoughts on me changing the days around like the titles let me know in the comments and i'll see you tomorrow